KHON2 weather, Kamaka Pili. It is a cloudy day. Most of the cloud coverage towards the east of the state and little more open, uh, clear skies on the west end. Now, as we're moving into tomorrow, we can expect a lot of changes going on, in particular tomorrow night moving into the new week. We do have our moderate threats for a thunderstorm activity and rain chances will be high moving into tomorrow. Now, right now, we do actually have some recent flood advisories issued. The island of Maui, at least the northern portion, until 8.15 as the surface trough starts to back up, moving closer towards the the west and then Molokai, at least the windward side, up until 8:30. Now, as we're looking in through tomorrow and tomorrow night, we're seeing a flood, a flash flood watch take effect tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock for the entire state, lasting for a couple days at least until the ending of Tuesday. And that has to do because we have a, a various uh, sources of moisture that is really lingering the islands, and that's going to be really starting to impact again starting tomorrow night. Now, we had this cold front, a really weak cold front that sweeped over the islands earlier today really situated between the islands of Hawaii Island and Maui where even some thunderstorm activity has taken place. But what we're seeing is some moisture now starting to be pulled up from the south. We even have another storm system, a weak one nonetheless, but moving in from the west and then all of that coming together to reinforce a new what we're calling a Kona low, a low storm system that's going to be parking itself towards the west of the state and kind of just situating itself there for the next couple days lingering in through the middle of next week. So we can expect a lot of uh, rain activity, heavy showers throughout the day, chances of thunderstorms and winds, even though they're light now, they're going to be ramping up into the middle of the week to up uh, 30 mile per hour sustained winds. Now, for the island of Kauai, we're looking at tomorrow, we're definitely going to start to see the rain chances increase. We can expect some just scattered showers for the morning side, and then as the day progresses and those moistures start to come together, we're going to definitely see that increase. Now, we're going to look at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're definitely seeing 40, 50, 60 percent chance of rain for most of the islands, but Kauai, again, is looking to have the least, at least the west side, Kekaha, only 20% chance of rain. But up until, at least of right now, what we've seen, again, most of that moisture lingering towards the east and particularly the leeward coast of Hawaii Island, you can see some of that red and orange blobs moving in, signifying some thunderstorm activity that took place. Now, in terms of our winds, our, our waves, excuse me, we're seeing lower wave heights for the north and west, 6 to 10 up north, 2 to 4 for the west, along with the south, 1 to three face uh facing uh, waves coming in for the east and we can expect the east facing shores to remain low as we don't have trade winds coming through right now. But as we see through our extended forecast, a lot of rain activity, the biggest chances of heavy showers Monday, Tuesday and slowly trickering down as we get in through the next weekend. Sam, back to you.